don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey, cut, 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 cut. That was Abdul Fatal Safiou's goal that was being played earlier on. Get to that later on in the program as usual. I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Welcome back to the channel. This is Performances of Ghanaian Players Abroad over the weekend. Abdul Fatal Safiou grabbed his second goal for his Swedish club, Trellis Bok. We'll have a look at that as well. Frankie Champon was on target, as well as Rafael Njamena. And we'll be looking at all of them today in performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Over the weekend, we all know there was the CAF Champions League and the CAF Confederations Cup. Kumasi Asante Kotoko conquered Etwa du Sahel in the first leg of the CAF Champions League 2 0 at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Ashgold as well were triumphant despite conceding two away goals from Aris Berkani of Morocco. But all in all, it was a good weekend for the Ghanaian clubs, Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold in the African competition. Kumasi Asante Kotoko will hope that when they travel to, to Tunisia, Suez in Tunisia to be specific, they will be as well triumphant and qualified to the group stages of the CAF Champions League. Ash Gold have a tall order in Morocco. We hope they can surmount it. 3-2 is not a bad scoreline. They can do with that so i'll just jump into the performances of Ghanaian players abroad we all know how we started here we start off from england and i start off with spurs they took on crystal palace in the saturday kickoff and it was 4-0 to spurs they beat crystal palace 4-0 jordan ayu played 71 minutes unfortunately for him he's had a great form with them of late but he couldn't continue that flurry in the form of goals he, he drew a blank this time around playing 71 minutes jeffrey schlub played the full 90 minutes of this encounter he could not as well influence the game positively in terms of goals or assists they ended the game 4-0 crystal palace with the defeat against Spurs. Manchester United took on Leicester City at Old Trafford and Daniel Amate unfortunately he is still out with injury it's been a long while close to a year now in November will be one year since he's been out with injury Daniel Amate was not in this squad entirely he's out with injury Manchester United won this game one goal to nil I move on to my next game and it's Reading they took on Middlesbrough and Middlesbrough beat Reading 1-0 Andy Adam played the full 90 minutes of this encounter now Swansea City took on Nottingham Forest and Andre Ayu versus Albert Adoma there in this game and unfortunately Adoma and his teammates came out on top against Andre Ayu they were won 1-0 against Swansea City at the Liberty Stadium Andre Ayu played a full 90 minutes Adoma played 59 minutes in this encounter none of them influenced the game in any way whatsoever in, in terms of goals or assist whatsoever afc wimbledon took on shrewsby town and quesia pia was an unused substitute in this game now i moved to spain a real society that took on atletico madrid thomas party who has been doing a great job i have to say in this week he has done a great job i have to correct an issue here gideon aqua contacted contacted gideon aqua and he says he is not with thomas party's club he's with another spanish side as well but the three other Ghanaians are with the spanish club acrobendes sport and that is thomas party's club just to clarify that now thomas party was not in this atletico madrid team that took on real Sociedad. they lost 2-0 to real Sociedad. it's quite interesting so Sociedad seemed to find a way against barcelona and atletico madrid the big big clubs they have been tramping them at this their home ground and they did the same to Atletico Madrid. Now Alaves took on Sevilla and Alaves, Deportivo Alaves, we all know we have Mubarak Wakasu. Wakasu played the full 90 minutes of this game. They lost 1-0 to Sevilla. Celta Vigo took on Granada and Joseph Edu played the full 90 minutes. Celta Vigo lost 2-0 to Granada. Celta Vigo had two red cards but Joseph Edu was not one of those players who was red carded unfortunately for joseph Edu, he was on the losing side 2-0 there on that occasion real valladolid took on osasuna in what was a 1-1 one -one draw mohammed salisu played a full 90 minutes for real valladolid real zaragoza played on extremandrua ud and rafael jamena was on target 
second goal for Real Zaragoza. Rafa Jamna was on target. He played 62 minutes and he was the one who opened the scoring for Real Zaragoza in the Spanish Zagunda division. Now, all great IS took on Trellis Borg and Abdul Fatal Safiu. The Kotoko Loni from Ghana here was on target for his club. He scored a really, really nice goal. Could have squared it off to his teammate, but he was in the better position, fair enough. And he found the back of the net for Trellisborg in Sweden. It was the only goal they scored, so he scored the winner for them. It was 1 0 that match ended. I'm really happy Abdul Fatal Safiu is finding his feet in Sweden. Hopefully, that move can be made permanent so that he can enjoy some more playing time with his new club. Move to Italy and Juventus took on Fiorentina and it was a 0-0 draw. Both teams drew blanks in this game. Kevin Prince Boateng had earlier promised his teammates free dinner if they were able to beat Juventus. They were close enough. They drew 0-0 and Prince Boateng was a 69th minute substitute. He came on for Frank Ribery who is a new signing for that club. Now Inter Milan took on Udinese and Inter Milan won 1-0. Kucha Samoa played the full 90 minutes. Nicolas Opoku as well played the full 90 minutes for Udinese in this clash. Nicolas Opoku was here with the under-23 side that did so marvelously well in qualifying for the under-23 African Cup of Nations in Egypt. Now, Roma took on Sassolo and Alfred Duncan played 84 minutes. He provided an assist in the 72nd minute for a goal. They lost, however, 4-2 to AS Roma on that occasion. Alfred Duncan back after his injury that ruled him out of the AFCON 2019 and it was great to see him giving an assist. Unfortunately, he could not help his team win this game. Now, back to Germany and Padebon took on, took on Schalke 0 Kato 5-1 loss to Padebon FC. Christopher Entry AJ was in the team full time he played full 90 minutes for Padebon FC. Unfortunately, it was not enough for them. They lost 5-1 to Schalke 0 Kato. Fortuna Düsseldorf took on Wolfsburg in a 1-1 Draw, yeah. Fortuna Düsseldorf. Nuhu Adams was an 83rd minute substitute for Fortuna Düsseldorf. Now Tekwete and Kelvin Ofori were on use substitutes again in this game, and Ampoma unfortunately was not in the squad entirely. We moved to Turkey, and Antalya Sport took on Kayseri Sport. Bernard Mensah played a full 90 minutes, and also Adebayo scored his first goal for Kayseri Sport in what was a 2-2 draw there in Turkey. Now Ankara Kuku took on Yeli Malatya Sport and with Yeli Malatya Sport we have a free aqua. He played a full 90 minutes as his team beat Ankara Kuku 4-0. Yeah, he moved from Empoli to Yeni Malatya Sport and he's doing some great works there. They won 4-0 on this occasion. Travson Sport took on Ankara Beligi, Ankara. He was not in the squad, unfortunately. Kuban was not in the squad for the game. Now move to Belgium and Sporting Charleroi took on Gang. Joseph Painzel played 43 minutes. They lost 2-1 on this occasion. It was quite unfortunate. Now Saint Trudins took on Vastland Beveren and that game ended 1-1. Thomas in Japan played 77 minutes for Vastland Beveren and unfortunately he could not provide an assist or get a goal on this occasion. Serge Bruges took on Club Bruges and Godfred Donsa who was formerly with Bologna played 72 minutes. Club Bruges beat Serge Bruges 2-0. My final game and it's Bordeaux. They took on Mets and John Boy played a full 90 minutes as his Mets side lost 2-0 to Bordeaux. So that is it looking at the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Frankie Jampon with a goal there for his team in their 3-0 win over the weekend in the Chinese League. An amazing, amazing goal for Frankie Jampon and his teammates. So who performed well for you out of these players? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Performance of Ghanaian players abroad. Who was the top performer for you in this game? I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Good control from the right foot back. It is a coming call for Ashgold. You know, springing the shot to go really uh, delightfully and detaining their fans with some exciting ball. Did you see that coming, Darko? Did Darko? Schwan. It didn't look like it was zooming straight into the net, but it did. Carelli finds himself there, and after all the pressure, and after. All